apartment window has uh, a shape of a rectangle mounted on a semicircle mounted uh, surmounted by a semicircle this means the diameter of the semicircle is the same as the width of the rectangle so it looks something like this this is the rectangle and this is the semicircle and definitely the diameter of the semicircle is same as the width of the rectangle uh, now uh, they are saying that r denotes the radius of the semicircle and x is the length so this is the x and if r is the radius then 2r is the diameter and uh, evidently 2r is the width as well of the rectangle and now we are given that the perimeter of the window is 12. So write an expression for the total area A of the window in terms of R and X. So uh, we know that the area is going to be same as the area of the circle plus the area of the rectangle. And the area of the circle is going to be a pi R square over 2. I'm sorry, the area of the semicircle is semicircle is going to be pi R square over 2. And the area of the rectangle is just length times width. Uh, length times width. So finally, this uh, this comes out as if we take a common denominator as two. This is pi r square plus four x r. So this is the required area of this particular uh, of this particular uh, window. This is part A. For part B, using the information over the perimeter, review the area in terms of R only. So we have to replace X. So uh, for that, we used to uh, we have to uh, uh, use the use the information of perimeter that the perimeter is twelve. So the perimeter is twelve, and we know that the perimeter is nothing but the perimeter of the semicircle plus the perimeter of the rectangle. So for the semicircle, it is like this. It is like this, uh, and uh, uh, over here we have the perimeter as uh, a pi r and the perimeter of the rectangle over here will be uh, uh, 2 times 2r plus x so this becomes pi r plus 4r plus 2x and the perimeter is already given to us as 12 so this becomes 12 this is also 12 so the value of x comes out as 12 minus pi r minus 4 r over 2 and since we have the value of x now we can substitute that over here to get the value of uh, get the value of uh, area just in terms of r so area comes out as 4 uh, as pi r square plus 4 r times x is 12 minus pi r minus 4 r over 2 over 2 so this becomes pi r square plus uh, 2 times 2 is 4 so 2 r when it goes inside it becomes 24 r minus 2 pi r square minus 8 r square over 2 so this becomes uh, uh, minus pi r square plus 24 r minus 8 r square over 2 this is the required area in terms of r uh, now they are asking us to find a dash r that is part c so it's just a differentiation i think we can uh, do it easily so the differentiation uh, in terms of r the denominator remains same this becomes negative pi as a constant this becomes 2 r this becomes 24 and this becomes negative 16 r so in other words this is 24 minus 16 r minus 2 pi r over 2 and then we have to find the value of r that maximizes the area so for that uh, we need to equate the uh, uh, derivative of a, a, a r to 0 so this becomes 24 minus 16 r minus 2 pi r over 2 is 0 this means that 16 r plus 2 pi r is 24 which means that the value of 8 r dividing both sides by 2 we have 8 r plus pi r is 12 which means that the value of r if taken as a common factor we have 8 plus pi is equal to 12 so finally the value of r comes out as 12 over pi plus 8 which is the final answer thank you